But here you can see the difference. This is unvaccinated blood. All the blood is nice and round. Uh, it flows. It isn't stuck together, which means that the pH in this blood is really good and very nice. This plasma looks clean. And even though we are now talking about someone who has an active infection, that's why this person uh, came to me. Even though we see that we have beautifully clean blood, it is flowing. This uh, immune system is active and working. This is vaccinated blood. As you can see, all the blood is stuck together. You see that the blood cells look really strange. They have these really weird shapes. You see all these black lines. Those are the fibrins. Those cause the blood clots. This is the reason why so many people are having strokes and heart attacks. Uh, that little round thing that has this different color, that is a white blood cell that is supposed to be four to uh, three times as large here too. They're absolutely tiny, uh, which is really bad because that means that your immune system is compromised. And as you can see, you've got all these fibrins everywhere. This blood doesn't look healthy at all. Look at all the bacteria in here, all these lines. These are all uh, fibrins that make blood clots. And this is what scares me the most. You see all these weird things moving about. These are bacteria, and these are different parasites and bacteria. Now, normally, when you look at blood, you have a few of those. Uh, this is what I keep seeing in all the vaccinated blood. Their blood is absolutely, the plasma is full, and I mean full of bacteria and parasites in, in numbers that I have never seen before. As you can see here, it is crawling. And normally, you will have just one infection or maybe two. But here I can identify at least five to eight different uh, kinds of bacteriums, uh, parasites. This is absolutely not normal.